teachers students ladies and gentlemen assalam alaikum and good evening to all of you thank you for being with us this evening and before i say anything about the program today i'd like to briefly introduce you it's a new name on the horizon and that is the kaidi azam house museum institute of nation building for which a board of management has been constituted this is basically a public private partnership between the government of sindh the jinnah society and the karachi council on foreign relations people who motivated this move to use this beautiful heritage site the pro- property of mr jinnah originally the people two people who were motivating the use of this property for such purposes for nation building were the then core commander at karachi lieutenant general humayun aziz and the chief minister of sindh sayed murad ali shah these two gentlemen arranged for a meeting with ikram saigal and myself ikram represents the karachi council on foreign relations as its chairman i represent the jinnah society we met and it was agreed between us that this property would be put to such beneficial use these beneficial purposes to promote nation building in pakistan with this aim in view we entered into an mou between the government of pakistan the jinnah society and karachi council on foreign relations this was followed by a gov- sin government notification to give legal cover to the mou and to the activities of the board of management that notification was issued and it has taken us a bit of time to organize ourselves and reach the state this is the first program being organized by the board of management at kadi azam house museum institute of nation building many more program will follow in the shape of elocutions next will be for students from age 16 to 18 then we plan to have essay competitions we plan to have drama competitions and we plan to invite leading personalities in karachi both from in foreign affairs in finance and otherwise in the academic world to come and speak to the students we are also planning to have film shows here for the benefit of the students of karachi the whole purpose is to make the students the student community in pakistan and karachi in particular more aware of the history of pakistan why pakistan was created what was intended to be achieved by the creation of pakistan what was jinnah's role in all this as a leader of the muslim league so it is important in my view and in view of my colleagues at the board of management that our students must know all this and it's only when they know all this that they develop a, love, a higher and a stronger feeling of patriotism when they know more of their country and more of their leaders this is what we aim to do judges and dear audience we have respected and revered our kaid over the past 70 plus years by printing his image on all currency notes by placing his portrait at all official places publishing countless books in his honor and declaring his birth and death anniversary as his national holiday honorable judges respected teachers and fellow participants assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you I am Abiyanuddin Ahmed Ansari a student of St Michael's Convent School Today I will voice my thoughts on Jinnah's Pakistan the outlook of a nation gleaming in the eyes of this impeccable man who we proudly call our kaid in words of kaid which summarizes the topic under discussion court my message to our brother muslim states is one of a friendship and goodwill we are all suffering through perilous times What does this flag mean to you? For me, it is a chance to be represented, to be free, to be courageous. For 200 million Muslims living in Pakistan, it is a chance to express their religion without any restrictions. This very flag was hoisted at the top of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation when it was established. Kaid was leading the session when ADC Gul Hussain asked him, "Sir, should we serve tea or coffee?" Kaid surprisingly turned around and said, "Aren't these people had the tea or coffee at their home?" 
ADC had no answer. Kayat further said, Whoever wants to have tea or coffee should serve himself at home. The nation's money is for the nation, not for the ministers. On 11 September 1948, Pakistan lost her father, Kaide Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah. With such a tremendous loss, the country also lost its identity. Today's Pakistan is not Jinnah's Pakistan. It's not a reflection of his ideology and I'm here to prove it. First of all, I would like to state the famous saying of Qaeda Azam, which is, We all are now Pakistanis in street of Sindhi, Balochi, Pathan, Punjabi and Bengali. So now, as a Pakistanis, we all have to be act, feel and behave and should be proud of our country. Before talking about Pakistan's relationship internationally, I would like to talk about my beloved country, Pakistan itself. Pakistan is the fifth most populous country and has the world's second largest Muslim population. Pakistan, in terms of area, is the 33rd largest country spanning 881,913 square kilometers. It's heard that Jinnah has laid the foundation of a land with fraternity, brotherhood, unity, faith, peace and harmony. It's heard that Muslims are gathered under one flag in the name of one Allah, one Prophet and one Quran. It's heard that Jinnah's Pakistan is being established. I am excited today. I am excited to deliver this speech today as I study in a school where Qaid Azam has studied too. So it's an honorable opportunity for me. When one visualizes, when one visualizes Qaid Azam as a leader, an epitome of perfection, dedication, determination, devotion and discipline comes to his mind. A Muslim is born not to give up. If he is asked to be slaved, he'll become Baba. He'll emerge as Sultan Tipu. He'll accept to die, but not to slave. So we now have three clear winners. At number one in this competition, first prize goes to Abid Ali of Idaru School. He is an impaired young man who has done brilliantly. The second prize goes to Iman Ali. while the third prize goes to Bhaktarwal Jahazeb. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Chief Guest Mr. Mohsen Nathani, a record merchant, uh, or the judges and ladies and gentlemen. And the first thing uh, which occurred to me was in the presence of the declamation of all the participants, uh, they gave me a severe case of inferiority complex. I thought I would speak, but really it was wonderful. It was something which was uh, amazing. And really, uh, and some of the participants spoke with such fire and uh, they really quoted uh, things uh, that we actually in the Institute of Nation Building have been talking about, you know, uh, furthering Kaya's vision uh, through the children. I think in that sense, this was a great exercise and we are really grateful uh, to uh, Mohsen for sponsoring this because we needed some uh, 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 encouragement like this and encouragement not only uh, for this participant but everybody. Uh, we are going through a very, uh, let us say, difficult period in our lives uh, in Pakistan. But uh, when is it that Pakistan has not been beset by crisis? I think I cannot remember a single year when we were not beset by crisis. But listening to these young children gives us hope. 
and that hope i hope will be translated as you go up in life and you put the same enthusiasm not only uh, in your own uh, let us say compatriots among your students but amongst those in your society who come across you and uh, that is uh, very necessary uh, one thing i did notice uh, all of you people stayed on the subject which is very important whenever you speak on something with subject and i will give you example of, of i went to a seminar as a, one of the key speakers on pakistan and bangladesh in lahore and uh, the governor punjab uh, mr gulam sarwar khan was the chief guest who came in uh, came in and spoke and was there for 10 minutes in those 10 minutes the crowd which was inside in the auditorium was very much paid they only uh, talked about gulam sarwar zindabad that's it uh, gulam sarwar sahab but this was a, a, a talk on pakistan and bangladesh and the opportunities uh, gulam sarwar khan sahab did not speak about pakistan and he did not speak about bangladesh and he neither spoke about pakistan and bangladesh so the point is that uh, you have to stay on the subject if you have to be you have to be coherent and you have to be committed therefore uh, at this thing in the end i like to really commend liaquat liaquat merchant uh, whose vision it is really you know and we in karachi council for foreign relations are lucky that we luckily we had him as a previous uh, uh, chairman and therefore it was an easy uh, sort of this thing but because of his vision because of he's talked about uh, commodore sadid malik which i completely agree with him uh, without uh, sadid malik sahab uh, commodore sadid malik Uh, we would not be uh, anywhere the amount of effort that he's put in but i would like to uh, especially thank liaquat liaquat for your persistence and for your commitment uh, to get this thing done and we look forward to working together in the months and years to come inshallah uh, to make it happen and and uh, uh, we'd like to uh, talk about i mean yes of course uh, i have mentioned um um uh, mohsen nathani and uh, i have thanked him but i also would like to mention that this is a part of the process that habib had metro has gone into since he has taken over as president you know he's gone into these uh, areas which is very important is the bank has to uh, the banks have been making like i mentioned substantial profits but some of the profits has to go up in in areas which promote culture which promote a national heritage and this is an important part of it and i look forward Ravi Metro staying with us in uh, the, the months and years to come uh, thank you very much uh, namaskar